and it was a struggle to beat the heat earlier on this week, but since then we have dried off and also had more comfortable conditions after yesterday's cold front brought us all those thunderstorms. And today we see the effects of that as we're now pretty much everywhere in the upper 70s, except for Roscoe and Janesville, both at 81. But otherwise, we're across the middle and upper 70s across the area this evening. We'll continue to cool off over the next few hours as we see temperatures getting down to around the 70 degree mark as we head towards 9 o'clock just after sunset and continuing to cool off after that. In fact, we'll have one of the coolest nights so far of the last you know few nights as we get down to 55 degrees for a low tonight as we have partly cloudy skies. Winds do calm down a little bit. So, you know, maybe some of us wanting to leave the windows open tonight, cool off the cool off the uh, house you know, a bit naturally, but for some may even be a little too cool for that. But tomorrow we'll see clouds building in, but it won't have too much an effect of our temperatures. We'll only get up to 79 degrees, somewhat closer where we were today as we have those clouds building in through the day. And that leads into potential rain chances later at night. But so far, we're looking okay for Rockford City Market that will be dry, especially early on as we have temperatures sticking around in those mid to upper 70s as winds do stay calm pretty much throughout the evening. But then it's going to be later at night. That's when we see these rain showers moving in. We'll be focused off to the west over Iowa and we'll be watching for these scattered showers to be moving in, especially early on. So thinking early as early as nine o'clock in the Rockford area that the earth, that the lightest of the rain showers move in. But then later on in the evening, we see future track hinting at potential show showers and thunderstorms even and heavier showers into early Saturday morning. So don't be surprised if you hear some rumbles of thunder and there will also be differences into where where the exact heaviest rainfall lines up. So it'll be along east to west. You know, may, this may be too far north, it may be farther south. These all be details that we refine over the next few day, over the next day or so, I should say. But then the good news is towards the latter half of the morning, rain begins to move out. So if you have any Saturday afternoon plans, they look to be okay. We do still see some rain showers moving, lingering, especially east of I-39 into the evening. But this is really beneficial rainfall as we have had droughts, a severe drought uh, developing across the area in the latest drought monitor. So any rain we can get, especially Saturday morning, will be very beneficial as we continue to see temperatures, you know, seasonably cool at 80 degrees for a high on Saturday. But then we warm up into the latter half of the weekend and into the beginning of next week as we see highs getting into the middle and upper 80s at times. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll see rain chances potentially coming back as we see scattered chances for showers and storms towards the middle of next week, Derek and Brittany.